talk about artificial intelligence. So in Adobe Photoshop 2021, they came out with an amazing filter called the NeuroFilter. And what it does is it uses artificial intelligence to automatically source different images to fill in a face. So let's say I wanna make this face younger. For whatever reason, there could be a reason why I need to do that or I wanna do it or I wanna uh, experiment with something. I can make this face younger by using this artificial intelligence neural filter. And this is available in Photoshop 2021. So if you have that version, you can go up to filter and there'll be something called the neuro filter. So let's go ahead and select our layer, go up to filter, go down to neural filter. And this is brand new. It's still in beta. They're still testing out a lot of things. So I'm just going to go over it briefly. Hopefully if you're watching this and it's been a couple months, they've already added and, and enhanced this tool. So you have one thing called skin smoothing. So we're just going to click on skin smoothing and this will be able to blur the image. So let's go ahead and bring it all the way max blur. It's going to add kind of a glow to it. You'll see a lot of people who would manually add this kind of glow to images and soften the skin kind of makes the wrinkles look less apparent and freckles and things kind of go away. Um, there's also smoothness, which, which does a very similar kind of action will kind of help smooth the skin out. And you can always go down here to this toggle and we can preview changes. So we can go before, you kind of see kind of the dimples and, and, and some things on our face, some age spots on our face. And you click after and it really helped to smooth that out a little bit. So that's kind of a quick way to edit instead of having to, to get the content aware tools or the spot healing brush or the clone stamp tool to have to manually do all this. It kind of does some of that automatically for you. And uh, remember, everyone is beautiful. So I just want to just make sure that I'm doing these edits, but everyone is beautiful in the, the beginning image. These are just little things and tweaks that I'm showing you how to demonstrate with the tools. So this is where it gets really cool. So there's style transfer. So we can turn on style transfer and we can transfer a style from a particular photo onto the image itself. So there can be a Picasso or an, a painting that you wanna apply the colors or the style to, you can do that. And you can click on show more. Of course, I'm gonna add more to this, I'm sure. So it's almost like uh, having a whole range of filters here. You can do a Van Gogh, there's Van Gogh all sorts of things you can apply. So let's go ahead and toggle off style transfer. I'm going to go down to here. This is beta and these are very much still being worked on and but they're very incredible. So this is what I think is personally my the most impressive of this entire filter is smart portrait. We're going to turn on smart portrait and we can literally make her younger, older, happy, sad, surprised, angry. And what it does, I'm going to go ahead and click on this because it takes a while for it to load. I'm going to click on happiness and bring it a little bit higher. It's going to make her smile. And so how does it come up with the teeth? It's going to, when she smiles, more her, of her teeth are going to be revealed. What it does is it cloud sources images from all over the internet, and it helps to build a set of teeth for her from all these other images across the internet. So there it finally loaded. Look at that. She has teeth now. That's incredible. There was no teeth in the photo, so it had to get those teeth from somewhere else. So it just built these teeth all on its own. And that's what's so incredible about this filter is how it was able to do that. That just really shocked me when I started to first experiment with this tool. So you can even make her sad. So we can kind of bring down this ha happiness and make her sad. You kind of see that negative number right here. So it's going to pull those the mouth inward and, and kind of remove the teeth. But I like a good smile. So let's kind of increase the happiness and you can um, decrease the facial age. So let's just decrease it a little bit. We could take a couple of years off of her. It's gonna go and source a bunch of images. You see how the hair changed. The hair became more straight, it has more color to it. So we can increase the age as well. So we can, it'll increase her age and, and make more white hair. And this is obviously not her hair. It had to build this, but the fact that it went to other images and it knew how to properly uh, build the hair around her, that is just amazing technology. So we can make the facial age all the way young. We can even increase hair thickness. So let's say we want to increase her hair. Let's, let's um, increase the hair thickness. It'll literally build hair. It'll give her a hair growth 
and we can take it away and it's like a haircut and it's going to source all that hair. Look at that. That's incredible. We can go up to the blur. I don't like having too much of the smoothness because it sometimes looks a little fake. So I'm going to just decrease the smoothness. I think it looks a little more realistic that way and maybe decrease the blur. Just, I like to have sharp skin. So it just kind of makes it a little bit more realistic. So that is amazing. You can change the head direction. So if I want her to look the other way, you can click on head direction and her head will just shift. Some of this is still in beta. Some, sometimes you get some really funny results. Like the results I got with this one, this beautiful woman. And I did made a little bit of angry and made her face a little older. And it was hilarious. I can't tell you how much I laughed at this one. So you definitely have to experiment with this. You can even change the light direction. So let's say we want a, the light to come from the right. It'll change the light direction. So now the direction is coming from the right. I find this one is not as effective because it makes it real dark and oversaturated in certain parts. So that, that's probably one they're going to have to work on a little bit. And what's really cool is they have this retain unique details. So let's say she has a little mole. And I noticed this uh, with one, the one I did um, earlier when I was trying to get a practice test for the for the, for the lesson. See this little tiny little mark? It's just like a little skin tag or some kind of little mark on the skin. If you do retain unique details, it will change her as you uh, change all these scales, but it's gonna try to keep these little unique qualities to her face. So like a little mole or a pimple can be retained. You can take it off and it'll be more liberal with kind of some of the edits that it does. You can even do makeup transfer. So we can take makeup from somebody else and apply it to her. So I can go and select an image. So let's see if I have an image I have saved. So I downloaded an image of someone with makeup. So I'm gonna bring that in. So I have this really dramatic makeup shot I got on Pexels and it will apply some of the color to her. We could do another one. And it's gonna apply this pink makeup right to her. Sometimes it's not perfect. It's still kind of being worked out. It's still in beta. So eventually it'll be able to apply it much more like the image than you see here. We can always toggle that off. So there's colorize. There's a whole lot more to discover with this. You can add a haze to it. You can add warmth to the photo. And I'm not a huge fan of the haze, but kind of a way to age the photo with maybe just a little haze and a little warmth. You can kind of make it look like an old photograph. And there's a couple other ones you can download. They're all in beta. I'm not going to touch on that. I just wanted to show you the very basics of this tool and how amazing it is. Uh, let's try one more photo just to kind of show off this tool a little bit more. We're going to take this man and apply the NeuroFilter. So let's go to Filter and go to NeuroFilter and see what we can do here. We can also make someone look older. So let's click on Small Portrait. And let's go to facial age. Let's make them look like an older man. So we're going to increase facial age. And there, look, it added wrinkles up at the top. And it added all this gray hair. We can increase the hair thickness too. And maybe not make them quite as old. Let's back it off a little bit. And we can make them happy or we can make them sad. Uh, just depends on whatever you want to do. I mean, I just think this tool is just so powerful. And it's a little bit scary too, because we can change ourselves quite a bit. And these people don't really exist. I mean, this person is a new person. It's not the same person. They're, they're aged, they're tweaked, they're different. And that is kind of, it's kind of scary, but kind of exciting, the technology behind all of this. We can make them surprised. And what surprise does, it opens their mouth. Just like when you uh, have a surprise birthday party and you go, <gasps> and you kind of breathe in, it kind of opens your mouth. That's what kind of all of this does. So we can kind of increase happiness, increase surprise. We can make him look younger. Uh, we can uh, reduce the hair thickness quite a bit. Let's see what happens when we, it takes a couple minutes for the algorithm to kind of seek out all these images and put it together. So it will take some time depending on your computer. Wow, look at that. That is amazing. That is a different person before, after, and then the one <laughs> before was, was totally different. That is amazing. So if we click on okay, it's gonna save all the changes. 
That is amazing. Uh, that is not even the same person. It's crazy. This technology is really incredible. I wonder where they're going to take it next, uh, what they're going to do with it. Um, it's a little bit dangerous at times because we could change people beyond who they are. Uh, but it's an interesting uh, dive into what I think is the future of photo editing. <laughs>